So behavioral tasks that are actually designed to, to generate fear uh, in animal you know, experiments um, are actually utilized, but in order to sort of test drugs and, and interventions, you know, non-pharmacotherapeutic interventions and also pharmacotherapeutic interventions to relieve fear and to treat, you know, uh, disorders that involve excessive fear, you know, things like PTSD, for example, or, you know, panic disorder. So, uh, you know, th there are going to be institutional review boards that'll, you know, determine whether these are acceptable, you know, given the hypothesis and, you know, the, you know, the chance of success, et cetera. Um, but, you know, they're really the goal of these, you know, tasks, behavioral tasks that are, that generate fear is actually to develop therapies that can actually address, you know, our experiences with, um, with fear. Um, and they include things like the conditioned emotional response. So this is where, you know, for example, you have an animal in a Skinner box in a cage that has an electrified floor, right? And um, they'll, you know, put on a, like a, what they call a conditioned stimulus, right? Like a light uh, before delivering the shock. And they'll pair, you know, the light and shock and light and shock and light and shock. And then they'll test just presenting the light alone. And then you'll get a conditioned emotional response. You'll get a, you know, a conditioned uh, response, which is the, you know, the, the rat will freeze typically. And, you know, when the light comes on, it's just bracing itself, you know, for that shock. That shock doesn't, you know, by the way, uh, typically do physical damage, you know, to the uh, the rodent. Uh, but it does, it is unpleasant. And it's something that it, it clearly, you know, <laughs> fears and is not happy about. Um, so you can test drugs, you know, that might actually reduce that freezing response, give less of a freezing response, which could be indicative of a drop in the animal, the, it, you know, the, the, the experience of fear that the animal is, um, uh, is experiencing. Um, there's also something called the fear potentiated startle. So if you suddenly, you know, make a big noise or something or something unexpected or novel, you know, they you jump, you have a startle response. It actually, you remember, is related to the, you know, uh, sudden burst of activity in the locus ceruleus, which is a nucleus in the brain stem, you know, that has wide projections of, you know, uh, noradrenergic, uh, you know, release, you know, around the brain, which can orient and, you know, you know, orient you externally and alert and give you that startle response. Um, so if you actually um, have a conditioned emotional response where you, you know, this light predicts the delivery of a shock uh, and then you present the light uh, and then do a sudden shock like that, it'll potentiate, it'll strengthen, it'll dramatically increase the startle response of the animal. And you can, again, test drugs to see if they, they, that reduces that fear potentiated startle. Uh, and that could potentially indicate, you know, um, pharmacotherapies that might be useful in treating people who have disorders, you know, that revolve around or incorporate, um, you know, disruption, you know, too much fear.